this will be my tutorial number three and in this tutorial three I'll show you how to keep a score as events take place and you want to count those events in this case uh, we're going to use some of the previous tutorials to get us started the first one to be tutorial one in tutorial one I showed you how to use the arrow keys to move an object on the stage in tutorial 1a I showed you how to add moving objects on the stage using the tween function and also I showed you how to using the arrow keys again to go up and moving the ball here in this case and when it hits a target the target disappears and finally on tutorial 2 I showed you how to do multi-tweening. By that we have the objects change direction and noticed when this starts, and I'll start it again, how the square is delayed coming in. See a few seconds and then once it's in it stays. So so we're going to use those three tutorials and I put the logic behind them together and I come up with my starting like this where I have my objects going back and forth my ones that have multi-tweens and if I hit them they disappear and now what we're going to do with this tutorial is as they disappear we're going to add a score of five points each time we hit one of them objects. Let's pick up a layer, a new layer, and we'll call it my text layer. Insert a keyframe at frame two and install some static text. We have choices here, we want static. And here I'm going to write on a small font. In here I'm going to write score. Score space equals. So that's going to be my score area. And next to that score is going to be my actual value of my score. And that's done with a dynamic text down here. Dynamic text make a little box here put a couple zeros in this and pick up your selection tool and either by dragging it or with the keys bring this down and put it in line here so it says my score is equal to that while you have this dynamic text select it go down here variable and write in the name we're going to give to this dynamic text and let's call this total t-o-t-a-l so that's the code we're going to use as a variable total to tell me my score up here on my layers there's my variables here on frame one open up the action script and now we're going to use a root variable underscore root r o o t and we wanted to call that total t o t a l total and we want that to equal zero zero okay and semicolon now when do we want this total to change each time it the ball hits one of the objects so go to our action script which is on the ball and action script layer frame 2 there it is and if I open up my action script in here I'm going to put some code for each of these objects that I have and there are my four targets one two three four and each of those in my action script has its little section so let's find the first one there's when it hits the square for my square 
I'm going to put the action code that's going to allow me to add 5 to my total score. So type, 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 type. And it says underscore root ROOT dot total equals number. That's whatever it is, uh, the value in there now. Number of total, whatever is in there. Add 5. So plus 5. Okay. I'll type that down below in the message box. I'm going to now cut that, or copy it rather, copy that, and I'm going to paste it here for my circle, and I'm going to paste it here for my oval, and I'm going to paste it here for my star, in my case. Yours, your, you may have different objects, but that's my objects. Up to my control, test my movie there's my score and as I hit those there's five points ten points fifteen points twenty points four objects five points each twenty points